the death size. We all go a little mad sometimes. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? You're gonna need a bigger boat. They're coming to get you, Barbara. I'll play again. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Killer, I'm just gonna bash you. What's blood for? If not for shooting. Welcome to 31 Days of Horror Movies 2021. I'm your host, Sam Johnson. Back with me, we got Adam and Leslie. Hey. Hi, Layer. Midsummer. Midsummer. From 2019, written and directed by Ari Aster, a couple <laughs> travels to Scandinavia to visit a rural hometown's fabled Swedish Midsummer Festival. What begins as an idyllic retreat quickly devolves into an increasingly violent and bizarre competition at the hands of a pagan cult. That logline just described was the physical action of the story. Mm -hmm. But this story is about much more than just the, what's physically going on. Mm -hmm. There's metaphors in almost every scene. Mm -hmm. Everything that's going on is about something else that's going on in her life uh, or her relationship um, or just toxic relationships in general. From the top. Yeah. Make a drop. Um... Ari Aster wrote this after going through a really bad breakup. Really what? Pain yeah. No. What? Toxic yeah. relationships are about that. Exactly. It's about pain and pleasure. You are in a relationship with somebody, presumably because it gives you pleasure and joy, but also in a toxic relationship, it's giving you pain in ways that you don't even understand mm -hmm. at the time or... Or don't want to understand because you are alone. You feel alone. You are shed from every sort of fucking confidence within you. And this is the only person that you attach yourself to. Being in a toxic relationship, you can't really see what your partner intentions are. Mm -hmm. Because you are self-absorbed and you want to just help this person because you can't help yourself as people that are in that relationship it's very clear to anyone who is looking at that relationship to be like this is not working this is toxic mm. when you're in the relationship you're blind to what's going on and this movie starts off with a tableau of literally everything we're about to see mm -hmm. in the movie mm -hmm. and it it goes from the beginning all the way to the end and if you if you Watch it again. I've seen this movie multiple times. You'd notice more and more things within that tableau of this is the whole movie. Mm. Just like we all know that this is a toxic relationship. It's all laid out. It's clear. This isn't going to work. She was sent an email. She's saying, I'm calling you because I got a oh, disturbing I got email. Yeah. Right. A disturbing message. I'm sure it's fine. And she's like, she's already like disregarding... Very passive. Her instincts on, in that voicemail. Mm -hmm. We do go to Danny, played by Florence Pugh. As she's leaving this, in the middle of her leaving this voicemail, this beginning scene is very interesting because she is very concerned, clearly very concerned. We mm -hmm. see the email that she's received. I would be horrified. I mm -hmm. would be too. Goodbye. Everything, good, everything is black. Mom and dad are coming too. Goodbye. Mm hmm that's horrifying. Yeah. That is. And especially f coming from a uh, sister who is, who is established as bipolar. Mm -hmm. I, as She's freaking out, clearly. Mm -hmm. But she's trying to rationalize her, her feelings. She's trying to calm herself down. She's, she's trying to breathe through it. She's gaslighting herself mm -hmm. almost. Mm -hmm. And we get our first uh, taste of Chrissy, as I, co I put him mm -hmm. in my notes. Mm -hmm. Not comforting mm -mm. No. at all. You've called me. How many? Again. How many exhales did he do in that? Yeah, he did like at four. Least, yeah, she's clearly concerned about her sister, and then he's uh, dismissive of her concerns. She does saying this. You, she does oh. this all the time. She does. Yeah, but this feel. Even you said this was different. Yeah, but you've done this before. Like, mm -hmm. and he then puts it on her, saying, mm -hmm. like, you've overreacted in the past, but You're too. overreacting, yeah. You're overreacting now. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I am overreacting. You're right, you're right. You're right. She said, yeah, you're, you're right, so right. right. Like I'm so lucky I, I'm so lucky I have mm -hmm. you. And, and we're all like, no! Oh, oh. She looks like she's crying, or just, like, on the verge of letting these tears fall, but her voice is so... 
She's putting on a, like a normal voice. She's Ooh. just putting it on. I've done that you before. You can tell, yeah. She feels like she's scaring him, like the phone call that she had with her friend right afterwards. And then she started making excuses to her as to why he because, reacted that way. Because it, is, it isn't her fault. No. And nothing that's going on right now is her fault. Hmm. He's the closest thing she has to family. He's and he's the closest a piece support. of shit. Yeah. Well, and she clearly on some level knows that because she is about to call him, but then second guesses herself. Mm. Does it anyway, though, because she's he is the only thing that she has. I think she knows, she knows what he's going to say to her. She does. Mm -hmm. She knows that he's going to dismiss it. Mm -hmm. she That's kinda, not what she needs, though. Mm -mm. She's. It's not what she needs, and but that is what she wants because sure. she is wanting to quiet down those... Because she doesn't want to see the truth. And then we go to Chrissy, the first time we see him, with his awesome group of friends. Oh, they're the best. They're the best. But they are telling him to break up with her, mm. which I think this is the only moment that we actually get good advice from Mark. Mm -hmm. Chrissy getting a call from Danny and immediate just wailing. Mm -hmm. Just, no, 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 no. It's just... And we're following these pipes. We're following these yellow, bright yellow in this green, blue, dark scenes. Bright yellow tubes. We're following we're from following the cars. It. We see it being attached to the radiator. Mm -hmm. The exhaust. The exhaust. Mm -hmm. The exhaust. Absolutely taped up. We know what that means. I thought she was just going to be in the car. Yeah. No, we keep following it. We keep following it inside of the house, up the fucking stairs, and then you see there's two of them. And yeah. you're like, fuck. One of them being taped right in these, like, double doors where you know it's a master bedroom. And you're like, fuck. That's the parents' room. Yeah, they were the double door reveal. They go in, and they're just... Mm -hmm. Passed out. Dead. Mouth open. They're dead. Dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we exit out of that room and we go to the other yellow tube that's attached to the sister's face. Yeah. With thrown up all over her. Mm -hmm. And then we go to just the worst wailing we can possibly get from Intense. Danny. Mm -hmm. And she is just, I mean, she looks like she's in actual physical pain. Chrissy is just, just holding her. Uh, we're we're pushing into them, and like you can see his face at one moment. He's his eyes are just like I don't even know what to do. Mm -hmm. Like, and almost like I know I'm trapped in this now for yeah. a long time. We go out into the store, and boom! That's when we finally get the title card. Yeah, it's like whoa, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. This movie just started, and, uh, and the hey. the oh, man, the title card is so good because it's it's like all of the. All of it is in the snow. You yeah. can barely make it out. It's all the same, like, sized font. Mm -hmm. The, like, you know, the, the the studio, the title of the movie, the... Um, writer, director. Writer, director, stars and yeah. stuff. All of that information comes on, but it's all the same size. And it's right in the center. And you're like, oh, you can't it's quite make it out. It's small enough where you're like, what yeah. is that? Yeah. And then... And then, hey, it's summer. It's summer. Mm -hmm. And then we enter into her room. And we're back into, we're, I think we're coming out of that same window mm -hmm. that we just left from. And we go over to Danny in her bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then who comes in but our favorite boyfriend. Best hey, it's me. Best man. Chrissy. The best guy. It's hey. me, Chrissy. Hey, how are you? Yeah, by the way, I'm going to go out. I was going to like, go to the party for like 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes. But you, sh you don't need to come. You should keep Yo, Yeah. Do you have, do you have yeah. enough rest? Mm-hmm. He's like, Are you sure? He definitely doesn't want her to go. No. This next scene where they're at the party, a discussion of her boyfriend going to Sweden. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Yeah, we were thinking about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was, was just, thinking, I probably won't go. I, uh, yeah. Probably not me, but mm -hmm. well, when well, is, we, we were thinking about it. We were just talking about when it. When is this going to be? Um, like two weeks. Two weeks from now. Two weeks from now. Oh. Oh. And then they're all just silent. Stand. It's so fucking awkward. It's so awkward. He's just made it. He's just built this whole fucking situation where no one can talk about this now. No, well, and, and that's the thing is he makes her seem like a fucking bad guy because they don't know if she knows. You know, right? 
he's able to feed information to each group, mm -hmm. whichever information he wants. Yeah. So he can make whoever, to his friends, she's the bad guy. To her, his friends are the bad bad guys. Mm -hmm. He's such an asshole because they come into the apartment and there's this obvious elephant in the room. They both know what they need to talk about to each other. He just sits down at the computer. He starts to like work, whatever. And then he looks up. He's like, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. yeah, what's wrong? What's wrong? Uh, that was just really weird. And he's like, what? What, what was weird? Yeah. yeah it's just yeah. like, dude. She's trying to defuse a problem that she knows is going to go to. And he's he's yeah. going to guilt her into whatever. Mm -hmm. And then he does. And at that point where she goes from like, wanting to have this discussion to apologizing they switch they literally the switch positions literally switch positions because in that moment they switch switch positions that's the first time where she's like you know i should be apologizing mm -hmm. i feel like i oh, i don't want to make so i don't want to make you feel bad about this i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry please can we sit down can we talk about this i'm sorry i don't he's like i've told you i thought i told you that's so gaslighting. Oh, it's this entire Ooh. scene is him gaslighting it her was, into that was... submission, into him, her apologizing to him for something that he did. Welcome to Horga. Uh huh. We got old man welcoming the Horga. He's <laughs> super excited. He's like, Are "You like my dress? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah." Mm -hmm. he's yeah like, it's girly, isn't he's it? He's like Please. super cheerful, and he's just mm -hmm. like honestly super welcoming. Yeah, he says he says welcome to each of the guys, and then when he sees Danny, he says welcome home. This whole movie too, like, is in the sun. Yeah, it's so, so bright, so there's light. A, the sun yeah. is a thing in this. Whether it's like this idea of shining the truth on things or shining light on things, I are being so fucking blindly obvious mm -hmm. that you cannot see. Yep. This this is the second time the violins come in or the string instruments come in. And it's when these children all run in and I think they all go to the feast, yeah. right? Yep. Um, and uh, the the table is in the shape of a rune. And I only know that rune. It means home, homestead oh, shit. is the is the uh, symbol of that rune. Yeah. The, the person announcing the feast there says it's been 90 years since their last great feast and it will be 90 years until the next great feast and like the summer has become very hot mm. and they should celebrate um what they have been given by the by their god um and so i'm wondering um do they do this sacrifice thing every year or do they only do the sacrifice thing every 90 years or how does all that work? I don't, I, the timeline you know, is, it's, it's weird. Time is weird in this time because they weird. have multiple time. The 90 year thing might not even have anything to do with the sacrifice mm -hmm. or them jumping off. They could do that every year, but this 90 year thing, the great feast could just be this like, ceremonial feast that they're having yeah might not have anything to do with even because i don't know because it, it just seems like whenever someone is old enough when they're past their winter cycle or whatever this 72 age mm -hmm. that's gonna happen right yeah that at least that sacrifice part is gonna happen right. once yeah. you hit 72 that's when you do the sacrifice. and we know that they do a may queen every year yeah for sure yeah so that means that the may queen picks a sacrifice every year when they mm, become maybe or maybe it's that sacrifice is picked by the may queen on the years that they do the big sacrifice yeah. i don't know it's very it's hard to tell. because they 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 lie sometimes they That's tell like, different things to different people or when uh, Christian is asking about an incest thing and the guy's like, oh, no, no, we, res we respect the incest lines. We don't, we don't do that. Um, sometimes maybe you can, like, breed with a cousin. Um, yeah. But we generally If that's what the, like... The and then we go lines. to... Yeah. The, oh, no, no, but the purebreds. Yeah, yeah. Then there's the, yeah, the... the yeah, uh, Josh. Josh finds out that yeah. like, Ruben. oh, they, Ruben was what intentionally inbred. Right. Yeah. They're lying about some things. They're mm -hmm. telling the truth about the other, and that's kind of a point of cult. Mm -hmm. 
they're drawing these people in with whatever. They don't get the whole picture. Mm-hmm. Never. 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 And we don't either. Yeah. And maybe that's kind of the point. And they're kind of doing the exact same thing that Christian is doing. Absolutely. Yeah. Never painting the whole picture. Mm-hmm. Only feeding bits of information that you need to certain groups yeah. of people. Mm-hmm. So how bad is he from a cult? Toxic relationship. Just how as bad. bad is that from a cult? Just as bad as a cult. He sucks. At this point, we hear like the breathing as well as they're all like as the group is dancing and like weaving around, and they're also like trilling and singing and stuff. Mm-hmm. But they're like, there's that breathing. The group breathes of ha ah, ah. ha. Like this community is very much enmeshed with each other Mm -hmm. like everything that's everyone is feeling is a shared experience yeah they're all living as one pain Mm -hmm. breathing like feel like feel everyone's energy all the time it feels like if someone dies everyone feels that death yeah like actually physically feels it if someone's grieving everyone feels that grief if Mm -hmm. someone's having uh, sex yeah everyone feels that as well <laughs> dang yeah Yikes. elders cheersing themselves mm-hmm. we did it we made it to 72 <laughs> let's take a ride to the cliffs mm-hmm. and off we go to the cliffs but they're watching the ceremony go on and i mean i knew it was coming mm. i could see it was coming you could see it was coming yeah were you feeling yeah. dread I was because also the character was breathing really hard. And then the people from the from London, they're like, fuck this shit, we're gonna leave, blah blah mm-hmm. blah, making a whole ruckus. And then the grandma's You're all like, fucked. Yeah, you're, you're all, all fucked. fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the grandma's like, No, you don't understand. This has been our tradition. This is what we've been doing. This is how we essentially like celebrate life. Mm-hmm. You know? This is joyous. This is a joyous thing for those involved and like everyone within the community sees it as a joyous thing for them. And we look forward to doing it ourselves. Yeah. Uh, because we believe that that's when our time has ended. We're giving back to the, earth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's a sacrifice. We're not, Again. we're not, what did she say? She says, we're not writhing away from what is inevitable. Uh, and she looks at Danny at that moment. Whoa. She's like, we're not, we're not, Trying to scurry away from what is inevitable. Death. Damn. Dang. Shit. Yeah. Because Danny is uh, unable to address death. She mm-hmm. is unable to like uh, uh, think about it even. Uh, uh, think about her family. She'll immediately go into a panic attack. She can't address it because the only support system she has in her life doesn't want to support her in that. Doesn't want her to support. One doesn't want to support her emotionally, working through any of that shit. Well, because he's a piece of shit. Also, I just realized these people were willing to um, suicide to commit suicide for something greater than themselves. Mm-hmm. Her sister committed suicide for no reason. Essentially, she saw her sister at the bottom of that cliff, though. I absolutely yeah. because they all committed suicide, no matter yeah. whether it was. Through a sacrificial whatever, or just lost, you know, within your life, there was these two different death, like cel- like one was celebrating death, and then the other one was mourning death. Mm. And I think that's why she just absolutely became so shocked. She couldn't move. She couldn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then this is the this is the supper when. Chrissy's Chrissy's drink was a little too red, mm-hmm. and his uh, his bagel was a little too a little too hairy, a little too hairy in there. <laughs> yep, and, and he knows who, like he knows whose hair it is. He does. He kind of just knows immediately. Oh, it's a red. It's red. Yeah, yeah. Love potion is on, baby. Love potion is well, on. Well, and that's kind of the thing. It's like, is he under a love potion? Because he is so um, dismissive of the obvious signs mm-hmm. that. Is he actually under the ta- did the talisman that was put under his bed work? Did is this love potion working? Yeah, is there magic in this? This movie never gives any evidence that the magic does work because right before he actually makes the decision, he's tripping on shrooms or whatever, whatever other kind of drug that they give to him, um, and he's he's 
off. He is gone. Yeah, really tripping. He's yeah. feeling a lot. But then someone also like comes and talks to him face to face, like, hey, what you're, do you think of her? You're doing it. You're you yeah. You, you've we, been approved. You've been approved. Yeah. You're uh, uh you're astrologically a match or whatever. Yes. Which is wild. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, okay, we're going to astrology. Oh, okay, here. astrology. Wow. Oh great, great. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Yeah. But he's he's given permission. He's like which is something that he's always asking for, kinda like <sighs> he's waiting for people to like Tell him what to do because mm -hmm. he doesn't want to make a decision that ever upsets anybody else. Yeah. Meanwhile, Danny is kind of just more and more coming into her own mm -hmm. and separating from Chrissy and becoming more and more a part of the community. Mm -hmm. She is baking with them. Yeah. She's um, participating in the May Queen ceremony. Yeah. She starts off very timid. She doesn't know what she's getting into. Mm -hmm. Literally everyone else is bowing and she's the only one standing up and she's just like an outsider completely. And then it starts and then as it goes on, she just gets more and more into it. She's able to at one point speak the language. Yeah. And they can communicate to each other. Yeah. She just is able to... Maybe they're not even speaking. A Maybe language. not. She might just be saying gibberish, and the other person is saying gibberish, and she just thinks that they're communicating. Uh, they're then, able to communicate to each other no matter what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. And then they, and then the other like girl bumps into the uh, like the last girl or the third girl, and they fall down. And she wins. She wins the May Queen. With the May Queen. Yeah, she's the, she's the May Queen. And she turns around. Everyone's celebrating except for. Chrissy. Chrissy. Fucking Chrissy. Yeah, he's not even looking at her. He's just... Yeah. Yeah. And everyone is just like... Everyone... Is, there's this moment of everyone standing up and just like embracing her mm -hmm. as a community. And we see her father. And we see her mother yeah, just right pass there. in front of her. Yeah. And like... Then Pele like kisses her on the lips. Like mm -hmm. it's super intimate, but it, it feels like like the whole community is just like coming around her and just embracing her. And the only person that is not involved with that at all is Chrissy. They He's, they actively turn her away from him and guide her away from him. Yeah, coming this way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh, and then they're <laughs> running with it. Goodbye. Yeah. And they and then the rest of the community just turns towards Christian and is because like, he does have a part to play. Yeah. He's literally just a penis. Yeah. Crazy. Scene. Open the doors. Yeah. Of the. All the women in the community, not all of them, but like many women in the mm -hmm. community in this semicircle singing and like uh, doing Gregorian chanting and kind of crazy ritualistic stuff. But then Danny sees him and she immediately throws up. I thought purging her old, old life mm -hmm. officially. Mm hmm. And then is brought in by the women of the community. They eventually get to having the same shared experience of this, like breath, just cry, like, like screaming, like Keening. screaming, crying, grief, grief, scream. And they're yeah. all feeling. It. Mm -hmm. They're all doing this at the same time. They're all this, and it does a perfect cut between this, like inhaling, exhaling of pain and. A betrayal to then pleasure yeah, inhales that's true. in the that's other true. what Chrissy's going through with this girl. Mm -hmm. It cuts between those two breaths and it's pain and pleasure right next to each other. He's, he's on, on a lot of drugs. He's on a lot of drugs. And by the way, he's supposed to be on more drugs. Yeah. Because he like turns <sighs> up and yeah. becomes paralyzed. So you can't move and you can't talk. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like, that is the most horrifying thought Terrifying. ever. Terrifying. It is the final part of the nine days mm -hmm. ceremony, I guess, that we're about to get. And they explain that there are going to be nine sacrifices for their good fortune. And four come from outsiders. And four come from within, mm -hmm. and the last one is chosen by the May Queen. Then mm -hmm. she's got just this frown. She's covered in 
this enormous flower dress and just frowning. And and then it cuts away and we see the butchering of the bear and uh, the old man explaining to the young kids how they take the guts out. And then they pick up <laughs> Chrissy and put him on the table next to the flayed open bear. And then we yeah. just see them setting up the inside of that, the long house or the, the triangle house at the end. When they put Chrissy on the slab next to the bear, we kind of pull him down and his legs below, below the knee are actually a little too long to fit in that bear. I had that thought while watching it. Because they time. also then pull up his his gown yeah. to his knees. Yeah. There's a there's a scene where they cut off the bottom half of his legs. Whoa. So they can so they fit, can fit him, him in, in that bear. bear. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. And they cut that out? Yeah. That seems like Ari Aster all over. He's yeah. like all right, I guess we'll I get rid out. of that. Whatever. I guess we don't need it for the story. Fine. Fine. I want it. I'll stick to the two hour, 53 minute it. running time. Yeah, whatever that was. Yeah. <laughs> and so he is in that bear suit. He's in the center mm -hmm. of that triangle house and they're setting up all the other sacrifices. And as this final burning of the triangle house happens, they're all just writhing in pain and suffering and it feels like they're all feeling exactly what is being felt within mm -hmm. the triangle a couple seconds before she's like coughing as if she's puking again and yeah. she's grieving wholly bodily but then the house collapses and there's the whole town behind her also grieving wholly bodily and she's suddenly you know okay finally she feels good yeah she feels I mean, that, that was, I felt like that was the most genuine smile that we got from her the whole movie. Mm -hmm. This has all just been a sacrifice for her to move on. For growth, yeah. yeah. For, for the transition um, to move on. I mean, closure as well. It, like, it seals, it burns, it scalds the wound. And uh, she has closure with her trauma, with her family. Uh, she has a new community that actually accepts her and she is like, she is free of all the pain. As I have heard it put, this is a fairy tale. This is a, this story ends here. Like it's the sort of like, it's not, and they lived happily ever after. It's, it's just like, and then this happened and finally we're done with the story. This person died, this person died, this person died. They all died because of who they were, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. And uh, and then she had, and the princess had to make a choice and she chose to burn the abusive uh, boyfriend. And then she did it and she was happy to be finally home. It really uh, lands as a story mm -hmm. more than it does as like a, as like a world, as like mm -hmm. real events in a world, even though it is so grounded. Um, and well, and it also starts off literally as a story mm -hmm. with this tableau. Mm -hmm. The first thing that we see is everything that we are about to see. Yeah, And you're right. It ends exactly where the end of that tableau ends. Yep. It's, it's a comic book. I mean, this is the Why second time watching anything? through yeah. and I like you watch through and you kind of want something different to happen. But then every time an opportunity or a choice happens, you're like, no, yeah, this is what should happen. Mm -hmm. This is the right thing that should happen. Adam, thank you for sticking it out. With yeah. Me. Thank you, Sam, for Love having it. me on. Love it. Please mm -hmm. plug yourself. Uh, check out season three, episode four. It's a podcast. You can find it where you find podcasts. All the places that you listen to podcasts, look that one up. Please do. Please do. Please. Season three, episode four. Uh, Sam's on an episode. It's yeah. The um, Walk Empire. It's a great episode. A bunch of different people are, that have been on this podcast have mm -hmm. been on that podcast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Check it out. Check it out. And you can find me at Beep Beep Richie T. And also check out Play on Social, which is the studio that we're recording us in. It's right here. But until tomorrow, the second to last day of Ooh. this month. Wow, wow, wow. Let's get spooky. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> 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 <gasps>